Hello there. This is my German Army knife. I'm going to put an edge on this knife today. This is a 300 grit ultra sharp diamond plate. We're going to put a little bit of uh, soapy water on that. And start the sharpening. So how's everybody doing? Hope we're doing well. This is, uh, I thought I would do a sharpening video for Thanksgiving so that, uh, while you're sitting at the on the couch all loaded up with turkey and tryptophan wanting to kind of doze off that maybe you know you could go to sleep with the sound of a blade being drug across something abrasive that's always a good thing. I like this knife a lot. It's a good size to get work done, but not so big. So, you know, and it's a Swiss Army Victorian Ox style, which I love these knives. Now, you can, when I was growing up, there were a lot of really cheap replicas of these knives, and I've had my share of them, and there are still a lot of cheap replicas of these knives floating around. And I was prejudiced for a long time against this design because of that cheapness that I had experienced out of those other knives. But once you start getting a hold of the real thing and start carrying them and using them, they really are a wonderful knife. Uh, particularly the smaller ones. My favorite is like the, the Cadet. I like ones that are uh, very simple and very small most of the time. Stand by and let me show you what I'm talking about. I like the, the small ones like this. I mean, I mean that's a probably about the length of the blade of this knife. So, yeah. But... And this is, I believe, a, a 70s era, but it's simple. It's got one little blade and a can opener with a screwdriver and, of course, this stupid flipping corkscrew, which I think is probably the most useless thing on a knife I can think of. Uh, but it's small. It's, it's a one-layer very slim and as a matter of fact it doesn't have the toothpick and the tweezers to get lost or whatever and honestly uh, if I could find them and I know they make them I just don't run across them as much in this size but that just had a single blade and nothing else on it that would be my perfect the perfect Victorian ox for me. I like them. They're small and they're slim. They've got a, a decent sized blade without being huge. That can do a crap ton of work. Uh, a perfect gentleman's pocket knife. Just lovely uh, knives. And uh, that's that was like my, my first introduction to them to a true quality one was one that was probably even half as small as this. Uh, I've had a couple of them, but lost them. I 
keep losing them. I, I like that little tiny knife in actuality a whole lot. It's just they don't uh, stay around long because I can't keep track of them. I put them in a pocket and then I take my clothes off for the night and forget they're in my pocket. And the next thing I know, you know, uh, I can't find a knife. So, yeah. This steel seems to be pretty hard for what it is. Victorian Ox is not known for super hard steel, so that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I can feel, once you sharpen knives long enough, you can kind of feel the difference in a steel when you run it across a stone. You can feel A lot of times the quality of the temper and the quality of the steel, there's a, there's a feel to it. You know, if a, if a blade is, has got bad steel in it or poorly tempered steel in it, a lot of times it will feel kind of gummy when you bring it across the stone. That's the, uh, Best way I know to describe it. Gr gummy, rubbery. You just know that that steel isn't any good. And we're just doing our basic sharpening where we are. Maintaining the same angle, bringing it down. We're gonna go down the stone, and we're gonna when we get when we get closer to this end, and we want to do this tip, we're gonna lift our hand up. You see, I'm not doing one of these numbers. I'm just lifting my hand until that touches the stone. Okay, and we're gonna do this however long it takes until we get a burr all along this edge of the knife. We're not using a ton of pressure. We don't have to. Stone will cut. There we go. And then, once we've got that, we 
going to come back to the other side. You'll have to excuse that my hand's in the way. Try that. Hopefully that's better. Lovely. All right. Oh yeah. And that's cutting hair very quickly and very easily. And there's no burr left on this blade. So we're going to switch to the best. Stone I know in the entire world. I cannot say how much I love a soft Arkansas. For knives, there's nothing better. You can get finer, and and I love the finer stones. Don't get me wrong, but for a working edge, that stone right there is all you need for a fine working edge. That's a fantastic stone, and I will always love them. Matter of fact, for Christmas, I might get me either a three inch wide one of these or a two in or one inch uh, uh, thick one of these. It depends on whether I can afford it. There's a lot going on in this house as well as everybody else's. And uh, this stone is a fantastic stone anyway. So. Let me see. Okay, I can't get away from this angle no matter what I do. I keep trying to make it more interesting. 
try to get better angles so that the video looks better, but the way that I sharpen, my hands get in the way, and I don't like what that produces as far as you being able to see what's going on. So, we're back to that. That's okay. I know, actually, I know that a lot of you like this angle. But it's just, you always try to improve, or at least I'm always striving to find a way to improve uh, what you see. You know, I want to be able to show the stones. I want to be able to show uh, what I'm doing on that stone. I want to be able to... Uh, to, uh, to, in some degree, create an interesting angle and an interesting view. And uh, so, yeah, all of that has to be taken into consideration. But my main focus and my main purpose for these videos is number one and you can see the swarf already on this stone uh, but number one my number one purpose for this channel is to teach to teach people to sharpen their own knives or their own tools or, or whatever it is that they need to get an edge on uh, and be um, self-sufficient when it comes to that. And then the other goal is, you know, I know that there are a lot of people that probably watch this channel for the the knives themselves and the stones themselves. And, and they want to see the stones and they want to see the knives. And, and so, you know, there's a... Uh, a lot of different reasons that people would watch and I'm grateful for everyone that does wonder <laughs> lovely whoa almost cut myself that ain't no good I'm I don't know if you can see but I'm testing it on the hair of my arm. That. <laughs> that's lovely. Well. I really don't think there's any need to go any further than that. Thank you for watching. Bless you. I'll talk to you later.